So we also have a new module of the week. Uh, this module is kind of inspired by Abby, although it's not quite the module you were talking about. Uh, so there is a module called Menu Breadcrumb. Uh, and I, I use this on a site because the client um, has a, a use case where there are several, several pages that are root pages. Um, but they want them to show up in the breadcrumb somewhere else. So they want to have, you know, a URL that's something easy, like what to bring, um, but they want it nested under some other um, items. And so menu breadcrumb allows you to set up breadcrumbs based on where in the menu a page is rather than just by path. So it merges kind of well. So if you have it by, if it's not in the menu, for example, it will default to path. Um, but if it's, you know, if it doesn't, it kind of falls back to the menu. So you can have uh, almost everything on the site pretty, uh, a, a pretty much a flat architecture. Um, so a lot of URLs are very easy to remember, um, but you can set your your structure using the menu. Um, now there are a couple of things to consider. One is um, you know, you still need to have some nesting for something like you know a blog, for example, because you're not going to have every single blog page in a menu or or yeah. you shouldn't. <laughs> that was going to be my question to you because we looked, we're researching these options now and looking at that and we're like, what do we do with our news posts? What do we do with blogs? Yeah. So, so in that case, you would do something like slash news slash whatever. And then it would just fall back. Yeah, it would fall back on that. Now, there is one caveat that I found that kind of occasionally rears its head. And that is that for some reason, it occasionally doesn't handle language very well. Like it will occasionally cache one language um, spread crumbs, but not the other. So on English, if English is the first page it gets visited, it'll show the correct breadcrumbs on English. But on the Spanish side, it will only show, it'll show it as only being a root page um, and vice versa. Um, usually cache clearing fixes it. Um, and it happens maybe once every six weeks or so. Um, but it, if you are a multilingual site, it's definitely something to consider. Watch out for. Um, yeah, there's there's just some cache context that get, is getting dropped, and I've spent a fair amount of time. Um, and a shout out to Greg Boggs, who's the maintainer of the Easy Breadcrumb module. He kind of helped out. I, I think I might have mentioned this a few months ago, but he helped out with you know trying to figure out what was going on there. But um, I've certainly reduced the amount of times that it happens. But every every couple of months now. You know, the client will be like, hey, breadcrumb issues back again, clear cash, and it's fine for another two months. <laughs> nice. I like that it can layer with other approaches too, because that's, I think, for certain, I kind of charted through our different content types. I'm like, for these, URL based makes sense, but for these, we want menu. But what if we create a basic page and it's not in a menu? Oh, God, what happens? So, yeah. One of, uh, one of the other things to consider is if you have more than one menu. Mm. I forget how it interacts because I, I think you basically set an hierarchy of menus. So if you have a if you have a you know about page that happens to be in a user menu as well for whatever reason as well as the main menu, you can say like just use the main menu as the default and it would put it there even if a person got there through the utility menu or the user menu. Um, so so that that is something to consider as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's a useful module. I think the only thing that really making that has really made me consider not you know switching away from it is that multilingual issue. And like I said, it with a lot of the fixes that we've applied, it happens infrequently enough that we've kind of just stuck with it. Um, but if if it didn't work, I think Easy Breadcrumb would be the next place I would look. And are these patches in existing issues for your multilingual fixes or stuff you guys have figured out on your own? Uh, there, there are patches that are posted, so I'll post okay. links to that. Yeah, I might check um, that out. I had one last question for you about this module, because sure. I'm literally in the middle of researching this for us. So uh, what happens in our Drupal 7 site right now, we have a couple like critical links that actually appear in two different places um, on the menu, right? So a STEM careers page lives in our careers section under that part of the menu, but also has a shout out in the menu in the laboratories section, for example, just so that if users come from two different main ways, they're still able to find it in that side menu that's limited to that section. So how would it, it handle the same that? Same menu? 
for in D7, it's different menus. In D9, we were hoping to have one main nav menu and then just handle with what level of menu you're showing in the sidebar. But I don't, that. I could try to test that, but I don't know how that would resolve. I think it would be, I honestly think it would just be the first appearance in the menu would be the one that it would get. Gotcha. And, and that the first, and when I say first one, it probably, I, I don't know if it goes by hierarchy or by like menu ID. I would suspect it probably goes by menu ID, like it finds gotcha. the first match. Um, to be fair, another reason why it's a little bit complicated on this particular site is we also have, I did find that I had to do some pre-processing because for whatever reason on the Spanner side, it adds an additional home link. Ooh. So you end up with, because it, you know, it's like, you know, site.com slash home and then site.com slash es slash home. And so it looks at that and goes, oh, es is home and home is home. And so it says home, home, whatever. Mm. And so there's a little bit of code to like strip out that secondary um, home menu breadcrumb. And, and I wonder if that's what causes, you know, the cache to break sometimes. Right. Um, but I, I can test what happens if there's more than one. Um, but I, I, I would suspect it's just the, I think if I remember right, when I'm looking at the code, it's just the first match. And okay. the question is, is the first match based on menu ID or is it based on hierarchy? Um, I mean, you could always get around it too by having the second one be a hard link that just redirects. Right, that's a good point. Um, but you would have the issue of if somebody got there through the laboratory, they would then see the breadcrumb as the career section. Um, yeah, is that kind of confusing, one. right? Yeah, so they have to use the back button rather than the breadcrumb to get back there. But those are generally edge cases, and mm -hmm. and to be honest, most of my clients just say like, you know what, we're just we're we're just okay with a little bit of ambiguity there, um, because the truth is, on a page with ten thousand sites, if there's only if there's only ten pages that have that weirdness, then yeah, yeah, is it worth building out a whole custom thing?